Oregon Ducks are back at it again, picking up another monster piece for the 2023 recruiting class, picking up four-star running back out of Picayune Memorial High School, Dante Dodal. The 6'1", 207-pound running back is the fourth best player in Mississippi and the 20th best running back in the class of 2023. Y'all can click up in this corner if you want to take a look at the four-star receiver you picked up a couple weeks ago. So I hope y'all are having a super blessed day. Be sure to leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button to answer your notifications because we are on the road to 300K and we'll be dropping fire videos letting y'all know of all the future stars of the college football world and with that being said let's take a look and see what the Oregon Ducks added to that backfield three two one Psh. All right, let's see what type of running back the Oregon Ducks just picked up 2,500 yards and 28 touchdowns in a season crazy production oh look at the burst immediately you can see the burst get him up off you and nope bye bye so definitely definitely more of a short field bursty running back I, I was I didn't really see the whole just take the top off second level speed but you can add that but that the initial burst which is what's more effective at the next level he's got that in spades get him up off you let's go you know his running style low-key reminds me of like an adrian peterson type running back just ultra physical oh hold up a second hold up my boy, he's like, yo, hey, cut, you want me in the hole? Bink, sit him down, little boy. Get on ball for me. And then just slide into the end zone real quick. Let's go. Hey. My guy is out here chugging along. Let's go. Yeah, he's definitely, he's got to work on that, on that second level speed where, where he breaks into the secondary, really being able to start pulling away. But his short field burst, that like, that first 10 yards, he's, he can get up to his top speed really quickly. And as we saw, he has a bunch of power. Get on ball. All y'all are babies. Y'all don't want none. Y'all don't want it. Yeah, my guy Dante is out here just sliding on these kids. Nope. Low-key, this is a little bit of a different running back for Oregon. Normally, when you think of an Oregon running back, you're thinking of some 5'10", 185-pound running back who runs like 4'4". But for him to be as big as he is and to have more of that physical running style, low-key, Oregon has a 100% changed up their, their identity. I mean, to me, they have arguably, if not... I would say it's probably a tie between them and Utah, but they have like the best defense in the Pac-12, at least as far as the bunch of recruits. And now they're getting a little bit more physical on, on the offensive side of the ball. So, hey, I mean, I'm a USC fan, so I never really want to see Oregon do too well. But I mean, y'all are up in the north, so y'all can go, y'all can go in the Pac-12 north. But hey, Oregon, Oregon stays picking up top tier recruits. Get, nope, get them up off you. Nope, get them up off you. Yeah, his, his he he has all of the like, again. I just want to see you work on that top end speed from twenty to forty yards. I want to see you really be able to hit that, find that sixth gear. But as far as making that first guy miss, whether it's just running through their face, stiff arm, juke, just outrunning them with the quick burst, he's got all of that. And like I said, that that running style translates to college a lot better. When you see these really fast running backs who try to juke everybody out that running style does not does not translate very well to the college game in college you need to be able to hit a hole take on the first linebacker and either make him miss or drag him an extra yard or two uh and gain four yards of carry so dante definitely has that in spades nope get him up off you like i said he reminds me of a little bit slower of an adrian peterson that that that's the type of running style i see strong runner keep high knees keep some legs churning and then again once he once he is that open field he's got he's got to be able to find that sixth gear but you gonna have to bring him down it's not like it's gonna be easy even if you do catch up to him he, he got a mean stiff arm run him over run them both over hold up first dude just no run him over boom nope See, that second truck is even more impressive because he the first guy, he had a full head of steam, so he could just run through his face. The second dude, he was at a standstill and still ran through him. I mean, again, look, at, I have yet to see the first person be able to bring him down. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, my, my boy Dante, I see you out here, my guy. I 100% see you. Hey, Oregon, Oregon Duck fans, stand up. Y'all y'all got you one. Again, that short field burst is nasty. He's able to just hit the hole and just in and out. Again, his, his short field burst is money. I would say, especially you're going to Oregon. That's the home of the top track team. I would just ask, I would just ask once you get to Oregon, just run, just practice with the track team. I mean, dude, get on the ball for you. Oh my gosh. These these players are coming with like real tackles and he's just running. Ah, you just barely got you. You just barely got you. But these dudes are coming with real tackles and they're just bouncing off of you. But yeah, you're going to Oregon, so they got the best track team in the entire country. So go out there, go practice with them, and work on that, work on finding that sixth gear, dog. I'm telling you, once you get, once that's the only part of your game that I've seen that's lacking. Other than that, bro, if you get any faster and you're this physical, you're going, you're going to be way too scary. Okay, so the Oregon Ducks picked up a baby Adrian Peterson. My guy Dante is a great train coming out of the backfield his his short field burst is absolutely elite like i said he's not the fastest dude once once he breaks through the linebacker layer and he's more in the secondary he does get caught by a lot of guys however he is able to easily break the first tackle consistently he's able to run through tackles or you're not bringing them down with arm tackles Sm smaller secondary players like corners and safeties are going to have an extremely hard time even at the next level bringing him down one-on-one -on -one. He, he, you might slow him down that's that's about the best that you could hope for but dante dodal is just an absolute monster coming out of the backfield Comment down below all my Oregon Duck fans, how do you think that Dante is going to fit in your guys' backfield? I think that he is going to be a great addition. He's going to add that physicality. He's going to be that guy that is going to be able to move the sticks on third and short, third and one, third and two, goal line situations. He's going to be money, especially being a taller back. He's not just a big back. He's a taller back too, so he's going to be able to jump over the line. He could also take it out. He, like he, He's one of those guys that he could literally go over the top but has enough speed and burst to where you could toss it to the outside and he's going to be able to score either way. So you you pair him up with with a more of a speedy change of pace running back or dante like i said you're at oregon oregon's track team is lit go practice with them during the off season go get your stride right go go work on your burst go work on your starts go work on the long speed i'm telling you they will get you right and once you once you add that home run speed to your game and you become the full adrian peterson i mean look at look at who we're comparing you to like come on but I already know that y'all enjoyed this video, so be sure to leave this video a like. Also, comment down below any other recruits that y'all want me to take a look at. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be putting you on to all of the best young college prospects, college recruits who are, before they even make a name for themselves in college, we'll be putting you on to here first. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. Plus, we're on the road to 300K. With all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.